Some people have the labia or what we call the outer lip bigger than the inner lip. Sometimes people have the inner lip actually bigger than the outer lip. The vaginal area and the skin around the vagina, if you have noticed, it's always darker than the rest of the body. You always think pubic hair is not great or it's uh, dirty to have pubic hair. Hi, let us understand about normal and realistic vaginas. When you're looking at a normal vagina, some people have the labia or what we call the outer lip bigger than the inner lip and the inner lip is hidden inside. Sometimes people have the inner lip actually bigger than the outer lip and the inner lip is hanging outside. Either or, they are all normal. And the vaginal area and the skin around the vagina, if you have noticed, it's always darker than the rest of the body. Does that mean something is wrong with it? Absolutely not. The vaginal skin and the skin around the vagina is constantly prone to friction when we're walking as we grow up as an adult and as a part of puberty when there is hormonal influences and hormonal changes there is definitely some kind of color change that happens around the vagina and your inner thighs and that is absolutely normal. What you must not do is actually put a bleaching agent or whitening creams, whitening scrubs definitely is a no-no only because that the area around the genital area and the vagina is very very sensitive it's very very thin and if you actually use products like this you will burn the skin down there you will cause itchiness there will be dermatitis and more redness around the area so it's definitely not recommended another important thing is pubic hair and people always think pubic hair is not great or it's uh, dirty to have pubic hair, but actually it's absolutely sexy to have pubic hair. So many people actually like having pubic hair. What we need to remember is all the hair in our body do have some kind of protective function and that's very important. And the pubic hair down there actually protects from organisms or infections that can easily get into the urethra, which is the hole through which the urine comes out and also gets into the vagina, of course. And this hair that covers the place actually protects it. It also gives it some kind of moisture and it also keeps it a little bit from drying out. And this is all very, very important function so it's okay to have hair around there and it is absolutely normal but if you are someone who hates the hair down there you really don't like it there are several ways in which you can actually remove and get rid of your pubic hair i would definitely recommend to go for clipping like use a clipper and go as short as you can but you're not actually shaving it off completely when you shave the pubic hair completely you tend to have cuts in the pubic skin which is again not a good idea and when this hair comes out it kind of is very flicky and rough and when this hair comes out through the hair follicles we do tend to have little infections small pustules so I personally will not recommend that you shave or remove the hair completely but you can use a snipper and go as short as you want and that keeps it nice and tidy still don't like it definitely Definitely want to get rid of it completely. Laser hair removal are fantastic. They are so good because they kind of destroy the hair follicles down there and the follicles and the hair are not actually coming out through the hole to cause these kind of cuts and irritation and infection and stuff like that. But what is important is you find a very good laser person so that you avoid laser burns and you can do your laser and it just keeps the place clean and smooth and it's actually value for the money. So here are some things about your pubic region and here is how you take care of it. And what is very important is not to use harsh soaps, scented soaps and make it smell like a bouquet of flowers. It doesn't have to smell like a bouquet of flowers because just your natural smell is fine. A little bit of water, maybe the froth that you, you know, use for your body soap, you can use it on the outside and that's all you pretty much need to clean your vagina down there and that is enough and here i am talking to you about your beads and i'll come back again to talk about something more interesting i'll see you all bye subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us